What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is pop YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, and today I'm gonna be actually doing a hair review for you guys on the Rasta Free Goddess Curl Braiding Hair. And this um, review is not sponsored. I just wanted to show you guys um, how you guys can cut down your style time by using this hair. And I'm gonna get into that, but first, um, I'm doing a trim on my client's hair and that's mainly because if you guys can look at it you'll see that her ends are really dead and she does typically wear her hair curly she was experiencing a lot of um, damage just at the ends of her hair so I'm gonna go ahead and give her a nice healthy trim and I didn't record it on camera because this video is really more about um, the braiding hair and so yeah um, I just wanted to start, start off showing you guys her before and where she was at I did post this already on my Instagram um, just kind of talking about me offering trims at the beginning of all my services so yeah this is what she started out as and in this clip here this is after her trim so you guys can see her hair looks nice and healthy and just a lot more full at the bottom and I love 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 just like transitioning my clients to healthy hair because um, if you are someone who's trying to build a clientele uh, it's very important that you focus on the health of your clients hair because if their hair is breaking or they notice that their hair is damaged and you're not really helping them grow it I feel like they're less likely to come back and that's for braiding services coloring um, really it doesn't matter what you do the health of the clients hair is really extremely important so here are a couple of the before and after pictures that I posted on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me already um, go ahead and follow me I always put my socials in the bottom right corner so berate it up that's my Instagram so yeah to start off her box braids this is how I like to part um, the part down the middle at the top doesn't really matter but I like to section off the front and the back of the hair so the hair that I'm gonna be using today is this Rasta free goddess curl braid and it is a pre-stretched braiding hair that is already curled at the ends and it is 100% Toyokalon and Toyokalon hair is a synthetic fiber just like Konekalon um, but it's a lot fluffier and a little less natural looking and you'll definitely be able to feel that in the texture of the hair as well. So using this hair definitely definitely speeds up the style time on this style because um, number one is super soft you guys can look at how smooth this texture is so it doesn't need to be dipped and it's already pre curled at the end so that will take out the step of you having to add in a synthetic or a human hair at the end of your braids so I'm gonna show you guys how I section off my hair and I do have a prepping video on my channel already but um, I go ahead and I pull pieces because I am going to be doing knotless box braids so I need to make sure that my pieces are ready to pull in not only does this help me save time um, it just helps me move faster and work just a lot more efficient typically I would um, separate all the braiding hair that I'm using for the style so if I use like let's just say three packs I'm gonna prep all three packs but with this hair I do only do it pack by pack because if you prep too much of the hair on the tray um, then it does tend to tangle a little bit at the ends like when you're going to um, pick up pieces and so you do want to be really really careful about that but yeah um, I definitely like this hair this is actually my second time using it I had recorded this um, review already before actually um, but the fit footage was really dark and so I wanted to do it again um, just because I really really enjoyed working with this hair um, typically I don't like Rasta fr free hair like um, y'all almost said Rastafari okay so let me tell y'all this before I continue like I don't know how many of y'all saw this braiding hair and y'all was like calling it Rastafari like my whole life I thought that that was what it was called until a stylist had checked me a long time ago and she was like what you say and I was like Rastafari girl and she was like you mean Rasta free and then I looked at the pack and I was like damn this whole time like I've been saying Rastafari so anyway <laughs> typically I don't really care for their braiding hair because it's not really soft on my fingers like expressions is and I feel like it has kind of like a super synthetic look to it like almost like a plasticky look um, but when I saw this hair I was like dang like this is so smart and I had to try it out and like I said this video is definitely not sponsored so I'm really giving you my honest opinion um, 
I was like, man, I, I love this. Like, this was such a smart idea. And I thought that it would tangle at the ends just because like it's synthetic braiding hair and you think it would do that. But my client actually rocked it and I seen her a couple of times and she was like, yeah, it doesn't tangle at all. Like, I love it. And it's super light, super soft on my fingers. And so I was like, okay, snap, like this might be a thing. Um, but for me, would I use this every single time I do this style? I'm going to say no. And the reason why I'm saying that definitely is not it doesn't have to do anything with the quality of the hair um it's mainly just because i love to use hum human hair whenever i'm doing any type of goddess or bohemian styles and i've already told you guys um this in a lot of videos where i do those styles that i definitely prefer to use human hair i just feel like it looks a lot more natural the human hair is not um super thick and super fluffy and um, I just think that no matter what, it will last longer. And so that would be my only reason for not using this typically for every single style. So as I approach the end of the braid to seal it, I'm taking off a small piece of the braiding hair and I'm kind of wrapping it around and tying it. Um, you can also burn it. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to seal off your braids, but you don't want to do it too far down to where there's not enough curls left out. So you guys can see um, there's still curls at the bottom of it, but you can really determine how much of the curl you want to leave out. When you're using the braiding hair, you can kind of tell where the curl starts. Um, because obviously it's right at the bottom and that would be one challenge is if your client doesn't want her braids to be super long you would have to cut the hair um, and so yeah I'm just lucky, lucky that um, she wanted it this long so I didn't have to cut it but yeah the curls are definitely like set at the bottom so you just want to braid down until you reach that curl and then I prefer to tie it. So recently, whenever I'm doing um, bohemian or goddess type styles, um, I have been finding ways to dip the hair. So I know a lot of stylists don't dip it and your braids will be kind of stiff. And that is one thing that I loved about this hair is that I didn't feel like I needed to dip it because even with um, all of her hair being braided, it wasn't super stiff. The hair is like really fluffy and light. So it still had a lot of movement. And a lot of times when I do use um, braiding hair that is connect line like when I do this style with expressions it definitely needs to be dipped because it's very just hard and so that also saves time not having to dip it and everything so basically once I was done braiding it all up I went ahead and put my mousse and my hairspray on it and tied my styling strips and I put a little bit of extra mousse at the ends of her hair just to kind of tame it um, because otherwise it can get really like fluffy so I always tell my clients if you want to manage your um if you want to manage like your curl pattern and everything then you can just use mousse and put that in there so that's what i'm going to do this time is kind of focus it on the bottom now as you're braiding sometimes there are little straight pieces at the bottom of the curls that are hanging down and so i'm going to go in and trim that off but it really wasn't a lot of it um it just kind of depends on how you run your fingers uh through through the hair as you're braiding um, and a braiders know what I mean by that as you're braiding you kind of detangle as you go You just want to kind of be careful because you can kind of pull out some of those curls um, Luckily, I didn't do that to a lot of them. So yeah guys, these are the curls This is what the finished look looks like I'm gonna go ahead and move her hair around and also at the end of this video I'm gonna have her stand up so that you guys can see um, how long they 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 um <laughs> Sorry, they hang this client here is probably about let me see I'm 5'4 she's probably about 5'6 so um, you guys can see where these braids will fall on you So yes guys, I would definitely, definitely recommend this hair, especially if you're someone who doesn't mind having the synthetic curls at the bottom of your hair. I think that this is a great option and it will definitely save you time as you're styling because you can skip a lot of those extra steps. 
Um, you don't have to stretch it or anything like that. It's really just in the pack and ready to go. Um, if you guys like seeing these reviews, let me know in my comment section. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and thumbs up this video, and I'll keep them coming. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs> What you mean? Uh, what you mean? What you mean? Uh, what you mean? Uh, what you mean? Uh, what you mean? Uh, what you mean?